you thirsty? Hey, no, I got water. You right must here. be very thirsty. I mean, I'm almost out of water, but. You only take milk with your coffee? Yeah. Coffee with milk. That's all. Okay. Who are you? My name is Becky. Yeah? Becky Amis, honest friend. Probably mispronounced the what last name. What are you doing here? My name is Becky. We already got that. Honest friend? My name is Becky. Listen, lady, we know your name is Becky. Give more information, new information. You must do what you must do. Take a sip of coffee and go. My, how redundant of you. Do what you must do after you've done drinking your coffee. So does dream coffee quench a thirst? Does regular uh -huh. coffee quench a thirst? Or is it more about staying awake? Oh, also spooky door is open. Do I get control now? guess so <clears throat> all right hey everyone draco magnus here for another episode of sorry i blanked there for a second because <laughs> the title thing popped up didn't get to read it but we're in episode two deadly premonition origins in the last episode we did a few things around town did some side quests talked to some people to get a little bit more information on them and then we headed to the hotel to put our report in and go the fuck to sleep. In this episode, we're back in the dream spooky verse, I guess. We're gonna move forward now. Ooh, a chocolate chip cookie. I will take a dream chocolate chip cookie. Chocolate chip cookies are my favorite. Ooh, and a lollipop. That's an object we now have, I guess. I mean, lollipops are good. It's just... I don't know, it seems a bit weird. Ah, good! We're in who the fuck knows a clock again. And still no explanation on these guys, huh? No, if you look at the map... Actually, yeah, I got a pretty... Can I do first person? No, right? Only when driving I can do that? If we look at the map... Maybe these are all the locations where York has done investigations about murders? Maybe. Don't know why that's marked with fat people, but I get a good look at that because I feel like this might be like a Easter egg clue to everything, maybe. But I can't read it. Huh. So we got fat boy in overalls. We got, I don't know, plaid shirt, fat guy, business suit, fat guy, military fat guy. Not sure what the one next to military fat guy said or is. Oh, they're the states. Because the one all the way over here in the suit is West Virginia. Okay. Still don't know why they're designated with fat people, but... I mean... Who am I to question the aesthetic of that? It doesn't look like I have anything else to do in here, so let's just move on. Oh, well, this is much calmer until that happens. Huh. You know, I don't know if this is an aesthetic choice or a glitch, but considering the mannequins vanish too, and it makes it different, I'm going to assume that this was an aesthetic choice they decided to go for and not a random glitch. They don't exist. Now they do. Now they don't. Now they do! Don't do. Okay, that's fun. Let's let's move on, shall we? That's me. 
All right. Me when it happened. Oh. Okay. It happened? Question mark. What is it? Oh, looks like we got a nice beard growing in. Zach, this case looks like it's directly related to us. Hmm. I do not know how yet, but I do know I need some coffee. Indeed. George said he'd have someone pick us up in the parking lot. Let's get some breakfast with Polly first. Yeah! Breakfast with Polly! Since you cannot carry any more items, lollipops would move to your trunk. Okay. I should probably switch my suit, uh, my outfit, because it's probably dirty as hell from now. Let's see, business, very long hours, overtime. It's very dirty. Okay, let's go back to our nice clean suit. Yes. Okay, and this one gets cleaned. Plus $10. There we go. Now it's nice and clean, but we're in our agent suit. And we'll, I like rotating. I mean, I don't have a lot of suits, just those three, but... You know, I'll still rotate between all three. Huh, never appreciated this picture before. Didn't even know it was here. Neat! Alright. Well, I think we're good to go. Unless I want to get rid of something in the toolbox or get something, but I think I'm good. <laughs> Whoa there! Do you have a Dalmatian Did patch you on something? your butt? Oh, no, you're the I puppy. was just passing by. I didn't think anybody else was here other than Polly. The door opening like that just, it, it surprised me, that's all. You're very animated. Forrest Kaysen, uh, Kaysen, sapling salesman. Forrest Kaysen. I'm Kaysen, Forrest Kaysen. Nice to meet you. I travel a whole lot, you see, selling tree saplings. Just the usual salesman doing the usual road trip. Sometimes I feel, I don't know, like a jolly old bumblebee spreading pollen. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. I get it. You're the special agent Scarface that everyone's yakking about. Nice to meet you, Francis. Special Agent Scarface? I'd need a bigger scar to live up to that name. Call it's me true. That's what everyone calls me. What? <laughs> you got it. York. Is this your first visit here, then? No, sir. Actually, I've been coming here once or twice a year for, oh, a while now. I don't get much business here, but it sure does make a fine vacation. I mean, it's a gorgeous hotel at a bargain price. It's so relaxing in these parts, too. Oh, I just love all the nature. I feel so relaxed here. Aw, oh, good boy. Say hi to Willie. Oh, don't worry. He's a good boy. Do you like dogs? Hey, Willie. How are you doing? He's pretty smart, too. Oops. Before I forget, let me give you this. It's just a sample of what I sell. Oh, uh, thank you. How kind of you. That's nice. Free sample. And so, you have another one. brings the old FBI out here? So it's cute. Sounds like more than just a vacation. A murder, actually. The perpetrator is still out there. Try to stay indoors at night and during the rain. We want to prevent it from happening again, okay? Oh, it's a darn shame. Places like this used to be the safest in America. Could I ask you something? Do you know a lot about seeds? Seeds? Gardening, huh? You don't look like a green thumb, but let me tell you, though. I'm pretty much the only one who can make those saplings sprout. There's a trick to it that can't really be passed on, you know? It's like, oh, the secret of making a good smoked ham, something like that. But you know, once they sprout, you don't need to do much. You can leave it be and why, it'll turn into a big tree no matter what happens. Kind of like those stocks that politicians buy that just keep growing and growing. Well, you just wait and see. This town is gonna love them. <laughs> right. We were just about to go take a morning stroll, so I'll get going. Good luck now with that case. Thanks. 
Hmm. Zach, do you remember what the coffee said? Forrest Jason. F. K. This show has just begun. Hmm. Yeah, I don't trust him. His smile is unsettling. I don't know if I was the only one that got that, but I just... Smile is too wide. Like, he's trying to look as friendly as possible, but it comes off a bit... Disturbing. You know? Breakfast looks as good as yesterday's. I hope you enjoy it. I will, and thank you. I just met Kaysen, actually. Ah, oh, good old Mr. Kaysen. Did he give you a sapling? As a matter of fact, he did. Don't tell me he gives one to everyone he meets. No, no. Only to the people he feels comfortable with. He told me. He must feel really comfortable with me. He must. Is there anyone he hasn't given a sapling to? Holly, what's mustard? going on with your bun? Okay, I'll just get it from the kitchen then. No, mustard has nothing to do with it. I was wondering if I mean, you know anyone that Kaysen didn't give a sapling to. Oh, too much pepper. I did think it might be. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, Zach, I forgot. We'll never get anything out of her, will we? <laughs> Forrest Kaysen is hiding something. I agree. You think so too, right, Zach? But no need to rush. All secrets are hidden until they are inevitably divulged. The powers of entropy. Mm -hmm. The world exposes everything and causes chaos. Just like this coffee. This magic coffee. K again? Hmm. I don't know. But that was a delayed sound effect. But I don't know about you guys, but I think uh, Mr. Kaysen may be high on our suspect list. I mean, yes, he just came into town, but he definitely has something to do with this case. Be it willingly or no. Ooh. Good morning, Mr. Morgan. I meant to... Oh! A new suit! I was just thinking about that. The Rainy Stripe. We'll wear that some other time. We have our current suit on, so there's no reason to, you know, go off. Huh. Oh, cherry pie. I thought it was pizza for a second. Huh. Anyway, she also sells hot dogs, bait. Bullet worm? Raises the chance of catching bullets. Sure. Well, I figure it. Why the hell not? I'm not going to be fishing anytime soon, but, you know, just in case. Raises chance of catching close range weapons? Is someone throwing weapons? Oh, Mr. Morgan, you do tote around a lot of stuff with you already. You'll have to use up some things in order to buy more items. Oh. Damn. Well, that sucks. I was kind of hoping I could get all the types of bait just so I would have them at my disposal. But it's fine. Oh, hi. I didn't talk to you last time about your quest. Let's chat. What's wrong, Polly? You look a little tired. I'm fine. Well, it's just that I was cleaning up my room, and so many memories came flooding back to me. Memories? Oh, my dear. Mr. Morgan, that's not the kind of question you should ask a lady. I want to know what she thought, he said. The beauty. Maybe I should have looked at what that quest was. Now I'm curious. How do you look at quests? No, it's not profiling. Um, map? Wouldn't be, oh, R, side missions. What was it, 31? 
There it is. 31. Polly has a precious piece of memorabilia somewhere in the hotel. Find it and give it to her. Not to be rude, but memory deteriorates with age. You might want to check her room. Okay, where is her room? Well, this is my room, clearly. Um, not sure whose room this is, but it's a room. There's a card all the way over there. Well, I'm going to have to go grab that before we get going. And then there's some other smaller rooms. I'd imagine she probably has one of the bigger rooms, like this one. So this is probably where we're going to go first. Unless she has a room upstairs, which is also possible. I haven't really explored the upstairs area. Oh, hey, you can look at the map of the town here. Neat. A simple guide to Greenvale with an overview of the shops in town. AG Diner, delicious turkey sandwiches. Milk Bar, convenient store with rock and roll music. Enjoy your evenings at Galaxy of Terror and Sweary 65. Too many drinks? Stop by the Greenvale General Hospital. Neat. Okay. Well, there's my room. Keep going. I believe this would be the room in question I'm looking for. Yes. And then we'll try to get that card. It's important. Hmm. Well, I don't need to sleep. Looking for a very specific thing. Is this not a room? I mean, I suppose it's also possible it could be in the bathroom. Hmm. I guess those circles are different doors? Looks like the door wasn't locked. I am profoundly curious where this leads. Fuck it leads outside! Ugh. Well, shit. I fucked up. We're gonna have to go through two different load screens now. Fuck. Good morning, Agent Morgan. Did you sleep well? Morning, George. Dreamland was quite nice. You do look well rested. Oh, I was up practically all night doing paperwork. Thomas helped me out so I was able to go home and get some sleep, but not enough. Diane got back into town late last night. We should give her a visit. Which means yes. going to the art gallery, correct? She lives and works in the office there, so it's the only place to find her. The gallery is open from 10 to 1700. Time for some art appreciation. A cultural activity in such a small countryside town. Amazing, Zach. Guess, uh, York here is a big art aficionado. Well, it's exactly 10, so we might as well head straight there, I suppose. The gallery is called Muses Gallery. The Muses were the nine daughters of the goddess of memory in Greek mythology. Ah, uh, it's just like Diane to name it that way. Is she that intelligent a woman? Oh, uh, maybe. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Did you see how Emily reacted, Zach? I sense that this Diane is not popular among other women. To meet her. The gallery is on the north side of town. Take the road along the lake and go north. Sure. Ah! We're... We're going with this car, huh? Y you sure you don't want to go with a car that isn't critical in gas? Seriously, there's another car right there! You don't have to force me into this one, you know. This car is going to stall out, I can tell. Well, there was a talk thing, but now it's gone. An art gallery in such a small town. Am I prejudiced to think that it doesn't seem to fit? Greenvale and every small town has every right to enjoy art. That's right. Small towns tend to be full of highly cultured people. Although, I can't say I've ever been to the gallery myself. George, what about you? Are you into art? Actually, yes. I like going to the gallery. 
It's very relaxing there. Really, George? I never knew that about you for all this time. Emily, please. I'm just as cultured as everyone else. Some people just have sides to them that you'd never expect. <sighs> I really didn't want to by cut way, that off by the card. Not Diane, the owner of the gallery. Is she the type that isn't very appreciated by other women? Well, what do you mean? Exactly what it sounds like, Emily. Is she very attractive? Especially to the opposite sex. So you're asking if she's sexy, right? Well, she does always wear high heels. And definitely, it's uh, hard to explain. But that doesn't make me biased, okay? She just seems to, to look down on people. She always has. I just don't like people like that. That must be I because agree. sex appeal has no effect on you. Now that's out of line. I'm sorry, Emily. I didn't mean to poke fun at you. You just reacted so strongly to Diane's name. I did not. It... It's like you're suggesting I'm the total opposite of her, is that it? Oh, Emily, that's not what anyone is suggesting. Let's just drop this conversation, okay? Yeah, probably for the best. Anyway, let's let my car die from zero gas so we can move on and get a better vehicle, huh? Please? Ah. Well, I'm currently at zero gas. Yet it's still moving, so... Guess it's fine. Hold on. Where is the gas station from here? I clearly need to use it. Um, let's see. Well, there's Kason and Willy. Easy enough to identify on the map. Is it this way? No. I keep making that mistake. Uh, that's the sheriff department. That's on his house. That's Brian's house. Really? Huh. Okay. Weird it's all the way over in the middle of nowhere, but I guess he's a gravekeeper. Not that I have anything to say about gravekeepers, it's just, I mean, maybe he likes being alone. He's an isolationist, and like I said, he looks like a ghoul, so... All right, so that's the gas station over there. Where am I currently in relation to literally everything else? Okay, so I'm gonna go down this road, turn left. Then this way? No. Turn left. And then I turn left there, or right there. Okay, I think I know what I'm doing if the car somehow manages to survive. Come on! Move! Move! Car accident penalty, huh? Hey, sorry guys, I didn't get gas because the gas station was closed. If you're wandering off, then we'll go on ahead. We don't have time to mess around. Agreed. Okay, I'll meet up with you later. Agent York, the gallery is open from 10 to 1700. Please keep that in mind and don't be late. I would have loved to have more conversations with you guys, but my car was in no position for you to be having me driving it. Was really hoping you wouldn't have forced me to use that clunker. Well, it wasn't a clunker, it was just I didn't have gas in it. Well, now I suppose I don't need to... You know, go to the gas station anymore, I can just head straight for where I need to go. All right. Now let's get back to... Oh, fuck. Right. This car is incredibly difficult to drive. How could I forget? Okay, I'll just have to go around this way. Ha-ha! All right. Fact. Don't you think there are a lot of good-looking women in this town? Yeah, I think so. Compared to the town we grew up in. You remember Liz? Prom queen, Elizabeth Scott Moore. She could be royalty with a name like that, but you know, she was like an actress from a B-movie, wasn't she? Bleached blonde hair, 
too much makeup, clothes showed off her cleavage, and that mole by her mouth. Say, Zach, were you with me back then? You know, that mole was made with makeup, right? We happened to be on the same bus once. I saw her drawing it on with makeup. I wasn't surprised, I guess. Just impressed that she would go that far to create that image. Do you remember that movie we went to go see that day? I'll give you a hint. It was the force in a popular series. And was, it was Star produced Wars? by Menachem Golan's Canon Films. No, no, no. Out, Zach? Nope. Think it over then. Call it your homework until next time. Eh. Why would you do this to me, York? I don't want homework. Wait. Hold the fucking phone. Why is there a thing there? Why is there an additional side questy arrow, huh? Where the fuck are you going? But I already did Cope's Tunnel. Why is it still pointing it out to me? Ah. Anyway. Huh, I wonder what this is over here. Becky's house. Oh. So that's where Becky is, huh? Good. She's another subject of interest for me. Well, looks like we already... Have, actually, we've got a few people here. There's Diane and Carol and Olivia Cormack. Huh. And George. Doesn't mention Emily, which is weird, but okay. Well, fuck. Okay. Just gotta keep my eyes open. Wait, am I going this way? Should I have gone that way? Should I have gone the other way instead? Yeah, no, 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 I was right. Okay, we're good. No issue. Keep on keeping on. Whoa. We're almost there. Not gonna be too much longer. Wonder what that movie was. New York was talking about. I, I don't know B movies from the 1980s. And then again, when I said Star Wars, it wasn't the fourth in the series because we'd be talking about, again, the 80s. And by that point, there were only three Star Wars movies that were out, which were labeled episode four, five, and six, but that's another story. Am I going the right way? Yes. Okay, good. Just making sure. Also, there's a card here that I'm going to want to pick up, but we're probably going to get immediately into a cutscene when we get there, if I had to guess. Almost there. Oh, yeah. Unless I get out before I hit that target space. But it might still trigger. Let me see. Zach, is there something here that you want to check out? Well, the gallery closes at 1700. But there's no real reason to hurry. Yes, quite. We need quite. to pace ourselves for an investigation like this. Eh. Well, I can't go that way because there's a stupid pickup truck in the way. Hey, George. Don't mind me. I'm just looking around for trading cards. Ooh! Well! I'm gonna grab my shovel. BAM! Fuck! Your wood! Oh, they weren't kidding when they said this thing was durable. Uh, I never want to have to use a pipe again. Shovel's too good. Oh, I think I broke it all the way down. Yep. I could sneak and take a peek, or... Nice. This is probably an area to sleep. I don't really need to do anything with that. Wait, did I... An onion? I mean, I'll take it. Or not. There. Okay. Now. Break down! Yes. Yeah. 
All right, how we doing? Ooh, I take. Eat shovel! It's quite lovely back here. Quite pleasant. Where is the co It's past here, isn't it? But it's locked. <sighs> figures. Fucking figures. But hey, you know what? That's fine. We know it's there. If slash whenever I get access to that, I can get that card. I've cleared the way. There's another onion for some reason. I might as well take it. Guess they're just growing there. That makes sense. Out of curiosity, why don't we take a peek? Huh, doesn't look like there's much here. Waste. Still got uh, some points for it, or not points, money for it. Hey, Emily, I made it. I'll also talk to George. Use his gallery, or we'll just go in. Probably should have realized that was going to happen. Emily, Mr. FBI agent, made it here all by himself. George, Emily, sorry to keep you waiting. I'm going to talk to Diane alone. You two just wait out here. What the hell are you saying? I know, I know, it's very rude of me. I know. But also very important. I always make sure that I meet with the important ones, one on one. Otherwise it's difficult to sense the subtle reactions of the suspect. This is just how I do things, and I'd appreciate your understanding. But, go on then. You're not going to listen to us anyway, are you? You're starting to understand me, George. <laughs> well then, Zach. Let's go and meet Lady Diane. Yes, let's. And away we go. Does that hot dog have tomatoes on it? The fuck is going on here? Hello. 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 No reply. Let's take a look around then, Zach. All right. Cool. But I think with that, we're going to end this episode here. In the next one, we'll explore the Muse's art gallery. Huh. Seems our goal's that way. But it also seems like there's some stuff to look at around here. Interesting. Well, see you guys then.